What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Off-Road Outlaws. In today's video, we're going to be showing the difference between the Razer 1000 versus the Can-Am times 3. We're going to be putting both of these up to the test and seeing which one is actually going to be the best and they're going to be competing against each other. I would like to apologize about not uploading over the past few days it has been snowing a lot we have had some outages around our areas with power and stuff and unfortunately i did end up slipping and falling on my street and hurting my ribs now i'm all right i'm making a video for you guys i do hurt but it's okay i'm still making a video and that's all that matters so guys with that being said i would like for you to stay inside stay warm do not hurt yourself like i did it was an accident besides that guys let's go ahead and get into this video and let's see one which one of these side by sides will win now we're gonna go ahead and put this one on the first test to the left which is going to be the mud section now you guys have seen this map before whenever i did the two four wheelers versus each other we're gonna go ahead and take these side by sides on here if y'all would like to check this map out, it's called Ook ATV Parks and Trails. It is a really fun map, perfect for ATVs and four-wheelers and dirt bikes. So let's go ahead and make our way through this section here. I like the way the suspension moves, nice and smooth on this one. Not extremely bouncy. Let's go ahead and jump this. Look at that. Okay, let's see how much speed we can get going through here. Let's go ahead and throw this thing in low gear. See if we can mow through some of this mud here. So far this thing is moving way faster than what the four wheelers did whenever I did take those two through this area. Let me know down below in the comments guys which one do you think is going to win? Do you think it's going to be the Razer 1000? Or do you think it's going to be the Can-Am times 3? Honestly I want to say it's going to be this one okay. I'm going to say it's going to have to be the Razer 1000 but then but then again, you know, I like the way this one looks, so we're going with this. Alright guys, we're on to the first hill climb here. Let's go ahead and hit this hill climb, see if it'll make it up it. Oh, look at that, we got a little, a little sideways there trying to get up. It looks like it's kind of struggling a tad bit. But we did make it. Let's go ahead and head on to the next side. Alright guys, let's go ahead and see if we can get up this second side here. Let's go ahead and try and floor it up this. Okay, look at that, we got some wheels spinning. Got some wheels spinning. Oh, oh, oh. And it made it. Made both of these sort of with ease though. Kind of with ease. Let's, okay guys, so this is how steep this is. Now if you wanted to, you know, check out how steep this stuff is, this is something you wouldn't climb in real life. It's way too steep to be climbing in real life. You'd probably flip. Alright guys, this is the last section here. This is the rock section. Let's go ahead and see if the Razer 1000 can make its way through the rocks. Do you think this one's going to prevail? Okay, so here's our first little tree hang up okay and we just bounced right up and over that well that was easy go in and keep on making our way through this some mud and some rocks okay and looks like we almost got ourselves pinched is this thing not going to make it through this look at that guys i believe the razor 1000 has almost pinched its way between the rocks until I say something and we make it right out and almost get stuck in the mud hole but we do make it through that one too that is crazy okay here comes a really hard tree section again let's see can we bounce our way through the trees or are we able to just squeeze between them okay we just squeeze like right between those trees let's see if we can get between these Definitely a very challenging section if you are not in a four-wheeler at all. Due to the fact of how wide these things are, you know? Oh, look at that, guys. We have almost made our way all the way through the rocks between all the trees. There we go, guys. We just made it over the rocks and between the trees. Um, I think, I think we're just going to stop right here. Because I'm not too sure if the other one's going to make it this far. I mean, you do notice that the other one is much longer. So we're going to go ahead and actually just head up here just a little bit further. We're going to get to this checkpoint right down here. Okay, okay, come on, we got this. We'll, we'll hit this one more time. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright guys, so it looks like we are not going to be able to make it up this part of the rock. This is where it is done. So let's go ahead and switch to the other vehicle and see what it does. Alright guys, we are on the Can-Am x3. 
Let's go ahead and hit this mud part. Let's see what it can do through the mud. Let me know down below in the comments, guys. Do you think this one is going to be much faster than the Razor? Or do you think, okay, and it is already way bumpier. I think the stiffness is just shot to the roof on this thing. Might need some new shocks for it. See if we can jump that. Okay. Didn't jump it as far as the 1000 did, but... Okay, looks like it is kind of going through the mud a little bit slower, too. Okay, it caught its little hop there. Come on, times three. You were built to be amazing and everything. Don't start getting stuck on me. Okay, we come up to this big hole right here, and it just plows right through it. Oh, look at that. The rear axle is like in the ground well guys it was able to make it through this one decently quick so let's go ahead and move on to the next section all right guys we are on the first hill climb here and it is raining but it doesn't matter we're gonna go ahead and hit this thing we're gonna leave it in high gear because that's what we had the other razor in so and it stopped raining look at this this thing is just speeding its way up it i honestly feel like the razor could have went up it a little bit faster versus this can am times three but hey we're gonna try out the next side all right, guys, we are at the next one. Let's go ahead and try and jump up this one here. Okay, let's see if it spins. And it actually kind of got up it a little bit faster than the 1000. I'm actually not too surprised. It does have more power, you know, more speed and everything. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. All right, guys, we are at the rocks. Let's go ahead and see if we can make it straight through these rocks with the Can-Am times three. Let me know down below in the comments, guys, if you think this one's going to be much better than the 1000, than the Razor. It's already kind of struggling to get between those trees right there, as we did hop our way between the trees, making our way over the mud section. Is it going to get hung up here? No, it just jumps it and clears the mud all on its own. Coming up on the second tree spot, almost too wide to not clear those trees. Is it going to be able to clear these right here? I don't think so. Alright guys, looks like it is not wanting to get between these trees. It is getting stuck on it. And I'm not going to spend, you know, a bunch of time trying to get between this. So let's go ahead and move on to the next area and we're gonna test these out on a drag race and see which one's much faster all right guys so we made it in here we're gonna go ahead and try and do these at like a little drag race thing so let's go ahead and drop off my trailer there and let's turn around here looks like we got a squatted truck over here well let's go ahead and see how fast this thing goes okay wrong thing let's go over here we're gonna go straight to countdown are you guys ready for this three two one go Look how fast we took off right there. We're already about to do over a hundred. This thing is extremely quick. I wonder how much this one's going to top out at. I say 140. Okay, we're already past 140. 150 miles per hour, guys. That is a lot of speed for a uh, side-by-side. -side. So let's go ahead and go back and we're going to use the other one. All right, guys, now that we are inside of the Can-Am. Okay, look, they're already starting to race. Well, I'm going to be racing on my own. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do my countdown here. Three, two, one, go. All right. Decent little speed at the start off. Not as fast of an acceleration as the Razor 1000, but this Can-Am times three does seem like it's got a little bit of speed to it. I don't think it's going to go to 150 though. No, 144 to 145. Okay, so that means that the Razer 1000 did actually win two different things on here and actually think it won three. So I am going to say that the Razer 1000 did win this challenge for today. So guys, let me know down below in the comments which one you think won. Besides that, guys, please be sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications.